This is my WEP 926 LED soldering station as I call it. it says it's EDS safe. Hmm. Hopefully it's going earth on it so to speak. Now this is like this part, of, well you get a sponge here which you can wet and wipe off the soldering tip. But you also get some sort of brass wool with resin in this part here. So here is a like, tub of resin. This does come with a lid but it's a nuisance having a lid on because I'm always having to take it off. Now this has been quite well used, just dipping the soldering iron in and there's resin in the bottom and it comes out, the tip comes out very clean. But you might see that there's a lot, awful lot of solder being caught in the sort of steel wool type part, well it's not steel, I think it's brass, pretty sure it's brass anyway, should say brass wool. Okay, so I'm going to try to revitalize this. I will have some marigolds or I don't know what to call them type rubber gloves on to protect me. Now I have already uh, I drilled a hole while well, I took off the back plate here just four screws under the like pads that you can peel off and use the step drill to drill a hole here to make it easier to push this out so now I can push this thing out because it is quite difficult second cent to get in and out. Otherwise, so there's a, a look at it, quite deep as you see. Now you can get replacements for these but I don't know, I think they're pretty expensive for my liking and the, the cheaper ones are a different size to fit in here so they wouldn't fit. So I intend to revitalize this. Now it is possible if you have uh, I keep saying steel wool but it's more like brass wool to actually almost squeeze the steel wool and get rid of some of the solder if it's not too bad. This is pretty bad. You can see that, it's been left too long really. Okay, so now that steel wool, if I say steel wool, sorry, I mean sort of brass wool, it's sort of stuck in there because of the resin. It's like a layer of solid, well, pretty solid resin that will melt when it's heated as you touch the soldering iron in. So I intend to warm this up. I have my gas hob here. Now, be very careful here. I haven't done this before so I don't know how well this will work. I was thinking of dipping this into hot water. And I have some, I have this old towel here, old towel and some plastic bags. Move that solar name that way. I do have some brass wool ready. And I also have some of this sort of hard resin flux ready. Well, almost ready, shall I say. I'm just going to get an old tin can, actually, to pour this into if I'm successful here. There's my tin can and I've got some long nose pliers here because this will get warm. Now I want to be careful here, I just want to probably warm it up a bit enough to at least soften or probably start melting the like, resin core that's in the bottom of this sort of container here. I think that's starting to smoke there. I think I heard it almost bubbling. Yep, and that. That is now pulling out. Now be careful here because this, this will stay hot. Mm. 
warm that up a little bit more. Very careful, especially if you've got like rubber gloves like this, because the heat will go through or even probably melt the, melt the rubber. resin on there. Just give this a little bit more of a warm. It's going to liquid. You can see if you look carefully that it does go turn into a liquid. On that, turn that gas off. And I'm going to actually put this towel on because I think this tin can is a bit hot now. That's a tin. I don't know what. Material it is. It's pretty yucky. So I'm getting more chunks of resin out. I'm just scraping round and round with the point of these long nose plies in the bottom here. It's going very gooey indeed, I think it needs quite a bit more heat on it but I want to try and get as much out as I can so I think it's soon cooling down this resin I'll try and show you in here as it is now still a little bit on the side there as you can see so I'm going to warm this up again just now resin up go on the outside. Don't want that going on my hob. See if you can see that. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see that melting there. Turning into liquid. I'm going to give that quite a bit longer to get quite hot. So if this doesn't show up you might see that almost pouring out there. Hopefully you can see that. Again, wipe this off. Heat this up again. Smoking, so I'm gonna stop. And cool down a bit. Keep wiping any excess off the edges. That's pretty clean now. Warm it up again. So this is going out but it's extremely awkward to do this. I have not to touch that with the gloves. Yeah, that's pretty clean inside. I'm just going to rotate it a bit and give it a bit longer warm. I would say you want windows open. Be careful of the fumes. Yeah, still getting some out. See, you have to be careful. So that 
that will be pretty hot that sort of tub thing here and look pretty clean now well I mean as for resin and such like it's pretty clean turn this gas off with this a bit with this towel or towel I use for dirty jobs that's all I use it for Remember this might stay hot quite a bit. So I'm just going to try to rub it inside with this to clean up any bit. Round them out, let's have a look. Yeah. That's okay. It's okay, just put some fresh stuff in now. Right. Move that tin over. So I'll ease the tin and put the old stuff in. Pretty yuppie. This is the vessel I'm going to be using. So this does have a bit of a dimple in here. So if you press it down and that might help you get it open up. Be careful because this does have, it's quite solid as you'll see. And it, it might be cracked and little bits broken inside. So I'll just hold that. I'll take my gloves off and then I'll come back. So these can be uh, not too bad, but you can see that you possibly do get some little bits depending how much it's been banged about. So that is like the resin here. Now this can also be melted. Well, it does melt when you put the soldering iron in. There's a fire station quite near me. Fire engine going out. Let's see. Rushing somewhere. Right. Now it's getting this heated up in a way that it will melt and then pour a bit into this small one. That is a plan. Can I see if the. No, I can't. I can't really grab the edge of that. With these pliers so what I'm going to do is warm up the tip of these pliers and then melt them in so I can get a bit more grip on it okay because heat will travel along so then give that wipe from the bit of resin just, sorry that's going out A, a bit of size so they will sort of take a few mo moments to get warm let me try that yep so now that tip is actually melting in the edge of the resin and now I can grip this tin better Now, be more careful here and hold it reasonably level. Keep it moving a bit and take it off so that it can, because it will heat at the bottom, let sort of the heat travel through a bit. This ready, not to fill it full, this, this just to put like. A little bit in. Keeping it moving. Actually, it feels like it's actually floating that, like the solid mass is floating 
and it's rising up a bit. So I'm going to leave this to let it balance, to even out the temperature. Putting it down on this towel a bit. Give that a few moments. Just to let the temperature sort of warm up inside because it's wet. It's liquid around the edges but not so much on the inside. few more moments here. Be careful because it is hot. I'll again, take it over and start. actually bubbling at the edges. I don't know if you can see that. Then I'm going to leave it down here a few moments to let the temperatures like even out a bit so that the, let's see that When I press down, uh, so if I press down, it's pushing the solid part on the bottom where the heat is. And the liquid part, as you can see there, is coming. I was thinking of almost like cracking this or breaking it. Just pressing firm but slowly, don't go to because I think it, if you press too quick, it does crack and bits do break off. Give a second or two, make sure I've got you know, sticking to the towel here. Make sure I've got a good hold of it and take it over to the gas again to warm it up. Oh, sorry, that's going out. It's because I zoomed in. In fact, I'm actually going to try to pour some of this into here now. Bit like treacle or uh, damp toffee. I don't know, like warmed up toffee or something. The golden syrup, that's what it reminds me of. No. Let me push this off a bit. This is going pretty solid, pretty quick. Again, as soon as it cools, it's, it's sticking around these long nose pliers. And the problem here is because that's on the edge, this is pretty still warm. This, as soon as this is touching the tin, it's and going solid, so because it's cold, the tin. Uh, problem here now that's on the edge, it's either going to fall on my hob or Warmed up, up a slight bit and try and wipe some of that off there. So I've got a good chunk there. Let me cut 
hole a bit. I'm going to try and get that whole chunk into this tub just now. Just get my gloves back on. Okay, pour a like a ventilator fan I have on because it does make a little bit of a smell, not too bad. I'm just cracking that off there. Pop that in, try and get some of these bits off the towel. Don't want any bits of towel in really. And I'm try and break chunks of this off. And then the little bits. Now, uh, a little bit more, I think. Yeah, that's just it's like cracking. Still a bit warm, this, but not too bad. And a little bit more. So I'm just grabbing this with this eyes. Since Still a bit soft, but not too soft, so to speak. That might be almost enough in there. Put some of the little bits out. So you know my. Really awkward to film this. Be careful it's not too hot this tin. I'm just put a little bit more in. Oops, if you can see that's going like solid now and it's going very brittle once it's when it's solid it's breaks apart. So what I'm going to do now is warm this tin up. Let that melt in a way to a pool in the bottom. So let's get this gas back on. Just wipe these long nose pliers a bit. So warm this up. Obviously starting to smoke a bit and it's there's bubbling in the bottom so I'm going to move like rock it about a bit to try and take it off the heat to well try and get the weaving out a bit. Take it back on. Just tip it slightly here. Oops, sorry. I'll zoom out a bit because it's yeah, that's going into quite a bit of liquid now, which is bubbling. So again, move it off the heat and rock it about so you can so make sort of see just in there. Just warm that up a bit more. So I don't want it getting too hot, I don't think. Because I put as you see there again. So it's just once it's hot like that it's gonna get hot pretty quick. So I'm just I'm keeping it moving a little bit to try and get the like solid and the liquid part almost mixed together. Generally I'm just going to keep doing this, put it on the Heat a second or two, a few seconds. Just a little bit hot, but not too hot. I 
I think there will be enough in that. Maybe just a tiny, just a tiny. I'll just give it another couple of seconds. Stand it down here where it's going to be pretty level. Right, let's get this glass wall out. Now I might need all this glass wall, it's quite a biggish for this one. I'm going to split this in up oh, just. big scissors here and estimate how much I want. I am getting some bits of glass off here so right okay now that is still quite soft in there so now we're just going to push this in actually into the resin. Let me get an idea. Yeah, because the heat of the solar iron will actually melt the resin in the bottom as you're pushing it in and down. And then it's coming through the brass, cleaning any solar off. It does quite a good job. As you can probably see there, it's pretty good. Okay. So that's just let that cool now. Put this in the bag. I put, put the lid on here, try and break off some of this uh, hardened up resin here. Right, I've actually heated this up again to get the sort of level out and smooth out a bit at the top. So that's still a bit warm there. And this would have cooled down by now. And pop that into the hole. Can you see this? Push it down quite firm. Yep, that's okay. I think that should be okay. So, yeah, that feels okay. So I can stab it in into that almost tick cleaning resin in a way and as it's going in and out the steel wool that's catching any of the uh, solder that's left on the solder tip. So that's a uh, we regularize of that. I'll just let this cool. This will stay because it's quite a largish area in a way. Amount volume of resin still in there. Let that cool settle. And then I'll put the lid on. I can use this again. Now it is possible to reuse this glass wool. As sometimes if you have gloves on and you can go like this and squeeze some of the old solder out if it's not too bad. It's if you're desperate, I think. Right, I'm going to leave it at that. That should be okay, I reckon. So I won't actually show you it working. I can't see any problems. Right. A lot when this uh, hardens, this I can just generally like break off. It goes very brittle. This resin, so it's not too bad if it gets on the stuff. But make sure you. If you have a hob like me, you don't get bits on the hob. Okay. Mm -hmm.